Altman Lighting presents Genesis. If you're creating a new show on your Mantra Light console, we need to clear the memory of everything that's in it. So to do this, we go to the Tools menu and select the New Show button. Tap in the New Show button, clears our console out, and it shows us in the Rig View screen that there are no fixtures patched. In order for the Mantra Light to operate your lighting rig, you need to tell it exactly what lights you have connected of the thousands of different ones available on the market, as well as the DMX address that each light is set to. We do this in the patch screen. To patch the console, we press Tools, Setup, Patch. This then gives us a list of manufacturers down the left hand side here. And then inside the next screen, all the fixtures from that manufacturer. And then some other details over the right hand side here. In my particular lighting rig here, I have six dimmer channels patched to DMX channels one through six on my dimmer rack that I want to patch to my first six sliders on the console. So I'm going to go to the brand name generic where we have generic functions or generic lights like dimmer channels and simple LED fixtures. I'm going to select the dimmer channel and I'm going to set the DMX address to one. So you can see I've now set to DMX address one. I now select the six faders that I want to patch the six dimmer channels to. You'll see they now light up solid red instead of flashing. And I can press the patch button. I've now patched those faders and I can test them straight away by running up the faders and making sure that the lights respond, which they do. Next up, I'm going to patch some simple RGB LEDs. So again, these appear in the list under generic, LED RGB. I have six of these that I want to patch to faders 7 through 12, starting at DMX address 101. So I'll use my plus 10 button, which I can hold down to scroll up to the nearest address, and then my plus and minus 1 buttons until I'm showing DMX address 101. Again, I could press each of the buttons in order, or I can press and hold the first button and tap the last one to select a range of fixtures. I now press my patch button and a moment later those fixtures are also patched and I can then run up my faders to test that they're working. You'll notice that the mantra automatically sets the home values on the lights to give you nice clear white light so you can see what's happening. If it was a moving light the shutter would be open, um, the dimmer would be running and the colour would be white with the pan and tilt at the centre position. Next up I'm going to patch some RGB AW UV LEDs. So again under my generic list I can find these fixtures here. They start at DMX address 201 which I'll select at the top of the list here. So I have DMX address 201. I'll select eight of those across my next faders and press patch. And again, you'll see my wall or psych highlighters now come up and I've got control of those as well. My final four fixtures are four moving lights. But in this particular case, I don't happen to know what those lights are because they didn't come with any instructions um, or they might be a brand and model that doesn't exist in our fixture library. So I'm gonna need to create a template for them. For that, we'll watch the next video.